Hi, this is Tiffany with The Pampered Chef, and uh, recently I shared a video on my salad in a jar party, and I've gotten a lot of questions and um, from other directors and consultants in the area. So I just pulled up at a meeting that I go to every Tuesday morning. I've got about five minutes. So here's what I do. I don't have a set recipe. I have something typed up in Evernote, which I will gladly share in the notes section of um, I probably will upload this to YouTube and uh, it is very similar to my what's cooking section of my host coaching um, I've been doing the same recipes since about 2003 um, when I started so I just changed up my recipes um, with a new season's best recipe and I'm very motivated by weather so I um, don't like to do soups in the summer and you know I know we all kind of do that kind of stuff but just in case that you're not familiar with how that works um, I send my host this list of recipes that are tried and true and that's what she picks from so I took that and I decided to um, just rename save as whatever soup and salad um, instead of calling it salad in a jar just calling it soup and salad so that they had something to eat at the show so I run my show just like a normal show I do my opening with my power tools um, and then my setup is a little bit different so I will tell you up front I feel like my packing is a little bit more because um, the salad and berry spinner is a big product and it takes up space it's not heavy it just takes up space I have been carrying it in that um, the bag that is the on-the-go bag that goes in the cart it fits pretty good in there and then um, I only take three bags, three three carrying objects to a show. I take the um, carry less, sell more bag we earned a lot while ago with um, my paperwork, so my catalogs and all that stuff. And then um, the new consultant bag, I take um, my tool turnabout is in there, a batter bowl, manuel, all that stuff is down in the bottom that I normally take to a show. And then my uh, crate that I got as a new consultant is in my dirty bucket. And I have another container that fits halfway in there, so all my small tools get put in there. But to go to the show, I have um, usually my grill pan, my rock crock, and then maybe a few things sitting on top. Um, and I have a piece of vinyl. So if you saw the video and you saw um, there was something covering the counter, that's just a piece of vinyl I got from Joanne's Fabric. It was like $5 a yard. So I Clorox wipe that before and after every show. And um, then I line the table with... Um, flexible cutting mats. So I take both the big ones and the small ones. I take the um, new ones we just earned, the yellow and green, the purple, and then a set of the little ones, oh, and a red, just so that I have one of each. If I need the other cutting boards, I'll take them, but I really just take seven cutting mats. And in my host coaching, I um, it's a little different. Like if the host, a normal show will just text me, hey, I want to do broccoli chicken ring this time she needs to tell me every vegetable that she purchased and I need to bring a tool that matches that so and I also go in order so um, the list that I will post is the soup and salad shopping list um, it has her absorbent veggies her non absorbent veggies her protein and all that and so I list a bunch of options but she's got to tell me which one she gets so I have a tool for each one so say for example carrots I would probably use my spiral and slice then bell pepper quick slice um, onion, uh, probably simple slicer, uh, cherry tomatoes, and I really want her to get cherry tomatoes, not a vine tomato. Um, closing cut, um, then we'll go around uh, chicken salad choppers and my batter bowl because I have already I've grilled it and that's something I do during my prep time so if you're not a fast prepper or you get hung up on talking to your host and you cannot multitask you need to get there a little bit earlier than you normally do so I am a 30 25 50 20 30 minute person before a show this is I got to be there 30 minutes so I do half the chicken of whatever she's purchased half the chicken with CPG seasoning because that's a really good generic seasoning that will taste good I think on salad with any type of salad dressing and then the other half of the chicken I do with Southwest because that's gonna go in the two bean chicken chili and I've really been gearing them towards the two bean chicken chili because it has zucchini and I can do the um, new spiralizer and then put that zucchini right in the soup so um, if she gets a second zucchini we use that for um, the salads and I tell them zucchini is a vegetable that takes on the flavor of whatever it's with it really has no taste so the first time I ever had two bean chicken chili I was at a show as a new consultant and I'm like I am not eating that that looks like pickles floating in um, the soup and then lo and behold it was zucchini and it takes on the flavor and you have no idea um, 
that it's in there and it tastes great and it's a great vegetable you can hide. So that's kind of how my format works. I do not chop anything before they get there. They do it all. I ask my host to have it rinsed and ready to go. Um, I also ask her to go ahead and um, I have her get the bag lettuce um, just because I recently learned that bag lettuce has the cellulose on it just like the cheese. So that even helps me more with the salad and belly spinner that you need to clean it off, spin all that crap off, sorry. And, um, you know, it will last longer when you spin it. We go into uh, salad at restaurants, tastes better because the lettuce is dry, the dressing t sticks to it, and we kind of go over that. So as I release them from my opening into the tools, every guest brings their own jar. I make sure that's in the Facebook event. I make sure I use Margot, so I'll edit one of the... Um, like the postcard or whatever to say bring a jar then with our reminders bring a jar so uh, my hostess if she so desires she can go get a case of them at Sam's or BJ um Target, Walmart, whatever. Um, I found a, a, a nine, a box of nine for nine dollars. So really, that wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but they're making one jar, one jar a piece. It is a party with a party favor that they are taking home. Now I give them other ideas, like I borrowed from Sharon Zellen. Um, you could do this every Sunday and do five salads, or if you have two adults in the household, do your ten. I'm sorry, you can hear lawn workers. Um, you could do your ten. You also, if you worked with a bunch of people, you all could do a different recipe. Make, say your five for your five friends and then it's like a cookie exchange but with salad jars so you have a different one every day um, so they really like that idea I tell them to take a picture of their jar as they're putting it in their fridge take a picture when they dump it out on the day they're gonna eat it dump it upside down I'm, a, I'm sorry I have to try to sit on my hands so I don't talk with them um, dump it upside down and let it sit for like 20 30 minutes let the dressing really get down there and um, then that way you're not like shaking it all around to get it out um, then the ordering process, like we, I need to remember to make sure my host has a Sharpie. I usually have a Sharpie, but I forgot to get it out. Write their name on the metal part of the lid, put them all on the fridge and then do your regular closing. I let them have the soup. Um, they eat the soup. Uh, I've been making croutons too in my deep cover baker. That's from the chicken Parmesan soup recipe. A lot of times they eat them before they even get them in the soup or they can take them home in a little baggie. Um, we don't want them in the jars cause they will get soggy. So um, I run my show, the clothes just like normal, they do their orders, I do my door price slips, I do booking slide, stealing hearts, so it's really running just a, like a regular show, but it's the hands-on part, um, the station style part is the salad. So no matter what size space you have, I'm, I tell people I'm like a goldfish. You give me more space, I will take up more space. You don't have a lot, I'll stay small. So we just line whatever counter table we have and everyone seems to be really enjoying them. Now the bookings from these shows aren't necessarily booking other salad shows, which is great because you can try it on a different theme. So um, the girls at my last party noticed that the two bean chicken chili was a great recipe that they could have made and then froze too. So you'll need to look at the um, mason jars that are freezer safe I've never canned preserved anything so I don't think my grandparents did either but I know there are plenty of you out there that do that and you could um, get those jars and do the same thing with your soup or your chicken noodle soup or whatever you want so that you could eat your soup and salad um, together at work so I hope this has helped with some of the questions that I've been getting um, I try to cover everything and um, if you have any more let me know and then maybe I can edit um, at the end and put some additional stuff. So I will post the uh, what's cooking recipe link that what I give my host to pick from for soup and salad. And um, I think that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know if you have questions. And again, this is Tiffany with The Pampered Chef coming to you from Virginia Beach. Thanks.